Hey, this is Jessie from dreambigwithjessie.com and today we are talking about the reason you're not recruiting effortlessly online. So there's a few things that you want to look at when you look at your Facebook and social media profiles. Are you a walking billboard for your company? Or are you, you know, representing what it is that you're all about with lifestyle, with what your company has allowed you to do in the life to live? And are you offering tips and training for your audience? If someone can jump on your profile and see immediately what company you're with, you're a lot less likely to get them interested in what you have to offer once you've built that relationship because the curiosity is gone. Leave a little bit of curiosity. Maybe instead of saying, you know, you work with XYZ company, maybe say, you know, I am a lifestyle entrepreneur, I am a stay at home mom, I make money from my phone. Something that will intrigue them and ask, make them ask you, you know, what, what do you do? What is it that you do? I see your posts, I see you, you know, having tons of fun and you always offer me a lot of value and I'm learning from you. you gotta know, what do you do? Also, when you're building that relationship online is you wanna do that through your daily posts. So instead of posting about your company and you know the amazing patent or groundbreaking discovery, um, nobody cares. Unfortunately, nobody cares. They really wanna know what can it do for them? What's in it for me, right? <laughs> so if you can provide that answer for people through you know, showing them, hey, I'm going to the beach on a Monday, you know, hey, hashtag love Mondays. <laughs> You're going to pique people's interest a lot more to where they will, you know, definitely be into learning more about what you have to offer because you've left that big ball of curiosity in their court and you're not trying to sell them anything. People go to social media to be social, not to be sold. That's something very important to remember. And one book that I'm reading right now called Magnetic Sponsoring, it's by Mike Dillard, amazing book so far. I've learned a ton from it already. And one of the things that he mentioned, and it really stuck with me, was that a lot of networkers, we tend to be peddlers, and you know, it's all about you know hustle, 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 and you know, talk to more people and get more no's, that's awesome, right? But what if instead of you being the peddler, you are actually magnetic? <laughs> and how do you do that, right? So people join people, they don't join businesses. So as amazing as your product, service, or opportunity may be, people are gonna join you because of you. Be a leader that someone wants to follow. If you position yourself as someone that offers a ton of value, that cares about your audience, they are going to feel that and that in transition is going to show them that you really can take them to the next level, that you can take them to their goals and dreams. So if you want to start recruiting effortlessly online, it's time to start positioning yourself as a leader. Don't be salesy, don't try and spam everybody with your product or uh, service opportunity, and just provide a ton of value on the front end. Jab, 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 right hook. If you haven't read the book, go check it out. It, uh, it talks about offering a ton of value on the front end before ever asking for the sale. I hope you got a ton of value today from today's training, and if you did, please share it out with someone else that can benefit from this as well. This is Jessie from dreambigwithjessie.com. We'll see you on the next video.